Measles is ready to pounce on us and cause a huge spread and a huge outbreak uh, at any point in time during the year. But it's our high vaccination rates that prevent that from happening. But it is happening, as the latest news attests, most of the recent patients unvaccinated. There are at least 102 cases. The individuals that we're seeing right now with this outbreak, as well as outbreaks from 2014, are those individuals who are not vaccinated. There's a rising I issue with vaccine hesitancy. Despite backlash by some against vaccinations, since the current vaccine was introduced in 1968, measles all but disappeared from the United States. But it's been reoccurring since 2000, culminating in 644 cases last year. So after the latest outbreak linked to Disneyland, the vaccine issue has been at the forefront of public consciousness. The things that children used to either die from or be crippled from have been eliminated in this country, and it's through vaccines. The majority of people in America still vaccinate their children, so I want to point that out. But what's the risk of having, let's say, one or two children not vaccinated in a classroom or at a birthday party? When you vaccinate yourself, you're not only protecting yourself against getting very severe disease from measles, but you're also protecting everyone else around you. Dr. Esper says the U.S. needs about a 90 percent vaccination rate for herd immunity, when enough people in a population have immunity protecting everyone. But since global travel has made the world smaller and aided in the transmission of infectious diseases from other countries, measles is still around. You have to understand that measles is not eradicated from the world.